Our rallying cry is best naval combat game ever. Stop right there and take a seat. Who are you? I'll be asking the questions here, Pepe. Did you lure the Black Flag fans out here so that you could plunder their booty? I just want to know who. Do you remember sending a message saying Skull and Bones is a triple quadruple A game? Man, I just want to know who. Did you say that it's worth $70 because it's big and done? I Did I ask you a question, boy? You sick fuck. This game isn't even half the game that Black Flag is. I'm Fleek Hansen. One last question. When you said none of us can own the games anymore. Did you mean that because no one's buying these games anymore? Oh. 60. Oh. Nine. Well, uh, 90. Nine. Nine. You know, Ubisoft's a very special company because they've seemingly bored their fan base into making fun of them. In fact, I'm living proof. I'm writing this script right now while I'm floating 5,000 meters to another fetch quest. Skull and Bones is coming out next week, so I tried their open beta, and my final thoughts are they ought to close it down, pimp, now. This game's so bland, I don't even have an insult that I can throw at it that's worse than its mere existence. They spent 10 years to make a game that's already more outdated than Black Flag. Shit, maybe that's where the name came Came from. This game started as a Black Flag expansion, and for 10 years it's been decomposing into its final form, Skull and Bones. Skull included in the base game, and Bones sold separately in the Booty Battle Pass. I should've known as soon as I heard him blasting Big Bill in the launch trailer. You know the last game that had Big Bill in the trailer? Diablo 4. It's the mark of the bill, pimp. I wish you could see the truth like I can. I can see this shit in 8K. And before you start yapping, this game isn't even out yet, and I'm already sick of it being called a victim of fans' expectations. Expectations. Saying people expected Black Flag and that's why they think this game is bad is exactly goddamn correct because people expected a pirate game and Black Flag is the best pirate game we have. Fuck Sea of Thieves. They figured there was no way Ubisoft would take 10 years to make something worse. But lo and behold, what we got instead was an over-monetized, always online gateway drug to becoming a military document leaker. All they had to do was this. And instead, they triple backflipped into a wood chipper, removing 90% of what made Black Flag great and replacing it with a generic RPG grind that's akin to life support. It keeps you just alive enough, but you never get to live. Pirating this game is better than playing this pirating game, allegedly. For starters, the ship combat here is a step back off of a mountain from Black Flag. Now, I will say I like some of these new weapons. They have some fun ideas here. Torpedoes, flaming mortars, rockets, flaming vefes. But I'm afraid that's about all the love I have for this. This game. On the flip side, why can I no longer warm the globe by five degrees with every ship battle? Why does my ship have stamina? Why did you just say it's because of the crewmates? Where did I get this gun? Why are the storms and high tide way more lively in a game from 10 years ago? And I gotta get this off my chest. Why the hell would you remove the arch in favor of a shotgun reticle? It's just not natural. Neither is replacing the mortar scope with a grenade launcher reticle. I mean, where do you get these ideas? What do you think this is? A fucking thumper? Are you really gonna make me break out the pro? Tractor? More importantly, though, boat combat has lost all the flow that it once had. In Black Flag, you could hip fire hot shot, lob the mortars, use an LB, pop some fire barrels off the posterior, hold Y for the swivel cannons, and then use LT and RT to fire the broadside cannons. You always had another attack that you could deploy right after the last one, and there were multiple buttons working together in a symphony. Here we got that rigor mortis flow. Dead and stiff. I gotta hard scope the hell out of these boats because almost all attacks run through LT and RT. Then I gotta rotate the ship every time I gotta swap weapons because I'm waiting on the fucking cooldowns. No! Screw it, I'm running a RAM only build. This is just too goddamn clunky. And maybe it feels better once I do enough milk runs to unlock the <gasps> purple cannon. But I don't intend to find out because my final fetch quest is fetching a refund and a pack of cigarettes and I'm never coming back. That's at least 20 more hours of enduring this boat con Combat, and only this boat combat because they decided to make a pirate game with no enemy shipboarding, no on land exploring, no cutlass dueling, and the only guns are the ones in this awkwardly placed mid combat cutscene. Which is a real shame because in Black Flag, every time you fight a ship, what you look forward to the most is that moment where you swing on board, climb up onto those top ropes, fall off those top ropes, and alt F4 out of the game. Or try to clear the ship using only the swivel cannon. Or maybe you park off to the side, jump off your boat, hop onto theirs, clear it, and then do an auto capture. God, I'm just getting a chubby just thinking about it. In Skull and Bones, you get this.
first time I saw this, I started the goddamn Black Flag download right then. Where's the payoff? You can't even repair your ship anymore after you successfully board it. Instead, that's tied to a repair kit on a skill wheel with a long cooldown. Ubisoft is incapable of making fun gameplay decisions these days. They're allergic to them. And to that point in Black Flag, outside of the boat combat, you had loads of landlocked debauchery that kept the boat combat feeling fresh. Go out there and catch some new pirates, kill some new pirates, go wrestle a gator, go LARP as a Florida man, get lost on the Sandy Knoll just doing headshot after headshot after headshot after headshot, and you could do so much more, but I'm trying to finish this up so I can go back to Space Nam. In Skull and Bones, your non-boat combat related side activities are this... And I don't know why I made it sound like there's gonna be more. That's it. And fair enough, this whole game is boat combat. I'll throw in the thrilling plundering activities because I'm a generous guy. I'm a man of the people, a giver. The actual plundering in the plundering missions is relegated to a mere cutscene. Once again, as soon as I pull up Black Flags Forts, what are we doing here, Goofy Gooby? So to make a long story short, basically Ubisoft forgot what a pirate is. And that's even more evident in the little bit of story I listened to before I cut that shit off. If I wanted to watch a dead-eyed sociopath talk, I'd just watch one of my own videos. I like how they try to make the pirate sound just or moral in the intro. The dawn of capitalism, when corporations as mighty as nations rule the seas, dominate the world's valuable trade routes. With an iron fist, they forge a path of tyranny and exploitation. Whereas Black Flag starts with you killing a man, stealing his identity, and proceeding to leave a trail of collateral damage because you want that booty. Things were simpler then. This game is a master of occupying your time without ever providing a single remarkable experience. Yet still, you just can't escape it. Because once you get the green cannons, the purple cannons beckon you. My purpose is the purple cannon. I must get the purple cannon. 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 Ah, yeah, we lost this poor bastard some time back. You like, you've been like this for decades. They shut off the servers to some game before you could get the purple cannon or something. I broke the poor bastard. Game didn't even make a three. Years. Man, I nah, that's bullshit, man. What I really heard that broke the guy was that they added a bunch of budgie cut brawls to the broad side, then remade that leave her Johnny shanty and made it shit. Oh, what about him? Ah, uh, you don't go worried about him, boy. He had no mind to lose in the first place. That right there is a fan of Assassin's Creed. Thanks to the flock of pimps for booty back in this video, and another huge thanks to all the pimperers for funding my spaceship to Space Dam. We're getting tropical in the next one. I'll see you in Space Saigon.